Hey there everybody, T-Shirt Booth here for GSHelper.com and I'm going to show you in this video how to set up your game um, for multiple levels, um, how to set up all the rules for each level using a table opposed to using an actor um, and then changing each the actor for every level you're on. Um, so let me explain right here. Um, this is my game Zombie Drop and I have here um, 80 levels, 90 levels. Um, and for every single level, I have an actor called Round Rules, and the prototype has all the rules, and then in every scene, I open the actor, and I unlock it, and I change these numbers to suit this level. So, for instance, here, for this level, I need to set game dot how many blocks to 7. Um, and then here, I need to set it to 7, and um, let's see here... Go down here. Uh, for unlock level, I need to set it... Uh, oh, I need to set uh, what level we're on. Um, what else do we got to set here? Um, change unlock level to 2, like so it goes to the next. Um, so I have to edit all these for every, um, every scene. Um, and what sucks about that is... Um, if I change something in the round rules, because they're all unlocked, i got to go in and change it for all of them. Um, now, yes, I can make attributes here, uh, which sometimes I do, um, but now it's a lot easier. Um, I'm going to hit home here, and I'm going to go into tables, and I'm going to create a new table. Open it up here, and I'm going to create some rows and some columns. All right, I'm not going to go to 80, but if I have 80 levels, I would use 80 columns. And um, for m my purposes, they'd all be index, or integer, sorry. And just do this here. Now, um, so we're going to, column 1 will be level 1, column 2 will be level 2, and so on. So these are all my levels. Um, so I know my first one is how many blocks. And, and then my next one would be unlocked level. User joined your channel. Now, um, I'm not sure if I need the other one, but I probably do. But I'm just going to do these two here just so we can kind of get the idea of what's going on. Um, so I'll take my rows back down to two. Oh, to two. Okay, so for level one, I need to change how many blocks to, I think it was seven. Um, and when you're on level one, you beat it. I want unlock level to be two and so now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna hit home um, and go into scene and now I'm gonna go into my scene one now let's say let's just do the prototype actually let's go into uh, the round rule prototype which is right here and so I have one 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 here just so I, I knew that that's one of the things I had to edit so now what I would do is I would go in here and I would say get cell uh, get table value uh, or cell value and we're going to take out table and we're gonna put our new table in there and for the row um, we're gonna take that out and we'll use game and I should have a game dot level game dot level so I'm on level one so it's gonna use um, row one, or sorry, um, for row I don't want to do that. Um, for row one is how many blocks, so I'm going to put row one um, because that's where I want it, and then for column I'm going to do game dot level. So we'll get rid of that, and we'll do game dot level. So what I just did was told it to take um, from our table row one what level. Um, so I'm going to hit OK. And now, no matter what level I'm on, it's going to take the right value because it's going to the table, it's going to the first row, which is game.blocks, and it's taking the value from whatever level you're on. So if I'm on level 4, it'll take the value from the spot 4. So I'm going to hit OK, and I'm going to go home for a second, and I'm going to go into Tables. And I'm going to go here, so say um, how many blocks need to be set to 11 for this one, and let's say 8 for this one, 8 for that one, uh, nine, uh, 9, 12, and 5. So now, no matter what level of them, if I'm on level 2, 
it's going to take the value 11. If I'm on level 3, it's going to take the value 8. If I'm on level 4, it's going to take the value 8, and so on. Um, so this is a very easy way to edit. So you can set up all your levels in one um, table um, and not have to change around rules um, for every level you have. You just have one set of round rules, drag that actor on, and it'll adjust uh, according to what level. So now I'm on unlock level to two. So if I'm on one, I want to unlock level two. If I'm on two, I want to unlock three and four and so on. And yeah, there's other ways to do this, uh, but this is very easy. So now, because I've done that, I can go home. I can go scene. And I'll go into the round rules again. Let's find them really quick. Um, and actually, for uh, how many blocks, I need the same thing as here. So I'll just copy, paste. Okay, so now I'm going to go to my unlock level rule. Um, so when round is complete, we're going to unlock level. And so we want to change unlock level to a number. So let's do it again. Let's drag this here. And we're going to get, um, get cell value. And for table, we'll use our table. And for row, because I know the unlock level rules are in row 2, I'll put a 2 there. And then again, for column... We're going to use game dot level. So as long as you're changing game dot level to what level you're on um, for every scene, this is going to take the appropriate value. So now if I'm on level one, that's instantly going to change it to two, and so on. So now I can go home, and I'll go back into my tables here. So if I'm on level uh, two, it's going to change the, that value to three and four and five. And you can do this for everything you need to change for each level uh, in your game. It's a very simple way. Um, instead of going to every scene and changing something, you can just come to one table, change all the values you need, and you're done. And uh, it's a super awesome uh, way to do it. And uh, I'm very happy that uh, Game Salad has... Uh, incorporated tables because it's a time saver it's going to be very handy now you don't have to unlock any actors um, you can just call it all to here and um, do your stuff all in one area so uh, i hope you understand if you have any questions if i miss something uh, feel free to to post and i'll uh, i'll help you out some more maybe change this video again if uh, someone else has some other ideas and stuff but uh, for the most part you should get the idea and um, I'm very excited to see what you guys do. And I will see you guys in the next video.